Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I am out for a walk in Hyde Park in London. It's a lovely January afternoon, the sun is out and we're actually heading to this corner of Hyde Park. So we're going to go and see something that's not going to be there for much longer. Just over there is the Marble Arch Mound. It was opened in 2021 to bring more tourists back into London after not such a good year, 2020 and everything. Well, it comes down on the 9th of January, so I thought I ought to come and um, have a look, see it before it disappears, because it might... Everyone sort of says it's not very good and that, but I thought, well, I'll come and make my own opinion, see what I think while I can. There's all these lorries everywhere, um, and if you look over there, you can see Winter Wonderland, that's been taken down. Just then a convoy of lorries drove through the park, which seemed quite unusual. So um, yeah, it's all been taken down. I can see a half dismantled roller coaster. So I um, don't think I'd want to have a go on that at the moment. So as for the mound, well, it's uh, kind of hidden at the moment behind these trees. So it's, it's free to visit. You just have to book online. Um, although probably by the time you watch this video, it will have gone, but I think most people who wanted to see it have been to see it and I believe inside there's like an art installation so looking forward to seeing the views and then seeing the interior so there it is now we can see it very London scene with those buses there have a look at that there's like a little tower sticking out top maybe that's a lift for um, people who can't manage all the stairs we'll soon find out um, so as it's got an art installation inside, to me it suggests it's possibly not actually a mound, even though it's called the mound. It's some sort of structure covered in grass. Um, but we'll, we'll find out and uh, we'll see. Because I'm, I'm very interested in the structure of it, how it's actually built. Um, you know, rather, because I'm getting the impression it isn't just a big lump of earth. I think that's what it looks like. It looks, um, the sides look very steep. I'm pretty sure if it was a lump of earth, and it didn't have a load of soil nails in it, it would have all collapsed in the rain. But we'll find all that out. Let's walk through the London Plains and um, you know, across the road, see what we can see. So I booked my ticket last night. It's very easy to get tickets. There's a load of sirens going off. I wonder what's happened. Um, anyway, what I'm gonna do though, we're nearly there. So I'm gonna keep walking, gonna check in and up the mound we'll go. now standing outside Marble Arch Tube Station. We're not going on the train in today's video. I'll uh, just show you where we are though. There's Marble Arch and there's the mound. I've still got a bit of time before I check in. So what I thought we'll do, we'll have a look around this side of the mound because it's already fairly visible that, um, as I said about it, it's not really a mound. It's a structure, have a look at that. See this sort of big white wall, it's like a big white sheet. So to me, it looks like it's more um, the Marble Arch giant scaffold structure with grass on the outside rather than the mound but you know um, so if we have a look here I appreciate the sun's in the way actually we'll walk through I'm walking through Marble Arch itself right now used to be able to drive through here but um, imagine all this traffic trying to get through those arches so yeah look the mound on this side you wouldn't even think that's the same thing but that that white thing you can see that is the other side of the mound against the London Plain tree. So um, yeah, it looks like it's all one big structure. And it looks as though from here, it looks like it's effectively like grass planted on the roof. Not quite sure how they've planted the trees, but we we'll, might be able to work the one out, because there's trees on the outside, we might be able to work the one out once we go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hang around for a bit, I'm gonna go and check in with those ladies over there, show them my ticket, and then hopefully we'll be going up. So my climb up the mound begins. Um, as I said about being scaffolding, it's like a basically scaffolding um, steps like you'll get on building sites. See how steep it is. It's at this point here, the mound itself is like more than a one-in-one -one gradient. So um, yeah, it's. Uh, I can see there's plants and everything growing, but I think they're kind of sort of a bit of soil placed against um, a roof as such. I don't know how well you can see. We might be able to see it better, but. If you look sort of into the steps, you can see the structure. So you can see, really, it's a massive scaffold structure. But, you know, I, I quite like that because 
I do like unusual buildings and structures and everything, so I'm kind of quite fascinated by the idea that it is this massive structure. Um, in fact, having a closer look here, you can see there's sort of like um, a netting, it's just coming out of it, to hold the plants in because it's so steep. It's not steep all the way. Now there's some trees, um, some silver birch trees, so I don't know quite how they're planted. That's what I'm intrigued to work out. So we come up to here, Hyde Park where we were a moment ago. You just make out Ferris wheel over in Winter Wonderland, where it's like the mound is also due to come down. Now, how does this, I can, I can see the trees. Ah, so to me, it looks like there actually goes for a hole. I don't know if you can see that. It goes for a hole in the roof of the structure. So to me, whether they're like in some sort of flower pot inside, that's what I would guess anyway. So probably when they take the mound down, they can just take those trees out and um, plant them somewhere permanently. Because um, it's like they get like a temporary life here and then they'll go and grow somewhere else for a permanent life. We're getting higher up. Look at that, that structure there on that lorry is probably one of the roller coasters from Winter Wonderland, which they've just taken down. And if you soon, we, we'll probably be just about the same height as those London planes in Hyde Park when we get to the top. So, yeah, it's, uh, I'm enjoying this, but then I've always liked um, going up high things. And if you go to Eastern Europe, quite often on top of hills, you always get these little lookout towers. They're not so common in the UK, but in Hungary and Slovakia and maybe a bit more in the west of Europe, in Germany, you seem to get them. But you don't get that many things you can just climb up. So uh, there's another lorry, a couple more lorries down there with um, this man called Winter Wonderland rides. Um, just going, looks like part of a carousel and everything. See on that lorry down there. They get quite a nice view that way across Hyde Park. See the um, gallery up at the top. So that's when we get up there, we'll be able to have a real good look across London in all directions. Nearly there now. So um, it seems it's a one way thing. So I see, yeah, there's a, I can just see in the middle, there's like set steps going down so that's good it means we get to go not yet but when we go if we go down inside the structure so we'll be able to have a really good look at the um at the inside of it so I'm just gonna let you see the views now really you can just see over there the four chimneys of Battersea power station a while ago i went and did a video on the new tube station have a look at link on screen now you can see out, you can see the Shard over there, the London Eye and the city. You can see the post office tower in that direction, Hard Rock Hotel, the building under construction here. That's that lift tower which I said about, so um, that's for disabled access or people who don't wish to climb all the stairs. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to hang around up here, enjoy the views and then it will be time to go and explore the interior of the mound. I really like it up here, um, watching the traffic and the buses and just the views in general up here on a nice sunny day. It probably wouldn't be so fun to be up here on a rainy day, but you know, um, they say it's the worst tourist attraction in London, or some people said that. I think that's a bit unfair. It's, um, it, I think it's quite exciting. I'll just show you one thing. You know, I was saying when we were down there about how it's uh, like a not a full mound. We're here, it's a complete vertical drop down there, so there's kind of like a slope on three sides so you've got slope going down there slope going down there and slope going down there what we're going to do now though is um well we'll walk around one more time see the views and then we're going to descend down into the mound itself and uh, we can have a look at the structure and see what it's all actually made of so yeah slope there slope there it's the other side over there where it's complete vertical we'll have another look complete vertical so when you get to here no slope at all so yeah see down to the London Plains down there. Let's go inside the mound now and um, get out the sun. I might have looked a bit silhouetted in those last shots. So as we come down here, 
something. Oh yeah, look, it's uh, now we're inside. It's just like being in the loft, in a very big loft. Um, that's basically what it is. Oh, and as for the trees, look, you can see. So they are planted in giant flower pots, and then they just go through a hole. So um, yeah, then there's a load of pipes you can see going to water them. So there must be like a big irrigation system to water the trees, and I suppose all the plants and that on the outside just get watered by the rain or they might have an irrigation as well so that is how the trees are looked after so we found out that one um, as we go down though it's really like, quite fascinating you see down there it's just a complete it's like a giant sort of when I was little I used to play with connects it's like a giant's connects thing like, but if I came here when I was a child when I got home I'd be trying to make look at that I mean that's so I love that all that all that. I'll be trying to make that out of connects if I, if I came in when I was a child. As for that vertical side, look, well, that's the wall. So a moment ago, we were up there, up in that corner. Um, this is the vertical side of the mound. And uh, yeah, we're going deeper and deeper inside. And I, I can hear a sort of music playing. I think that's probably part of the art installation, um, which I believe we're going to see on the ground floor. I, I, personally, I think this whole thing is like an art installation. It's it's big and impressive, and just um, just like it. I just think, yeah, it's. Uh, I'd enjoy putting it up and taking it down. So uh, probably be quite fascinating to have seen it all being put up and taken down. Wow, look at that! Yeah, def it's definitely not the worst tourist attraction in London. That's a bit unfair. Um, I wouldn't say it's the best, but it's not the worst. But then everyone has different opinions of what they think's great and isn't so great. So, yeah, no, I, I like it. It's a shame. It, I suppose that's part of the fun of it. It's a temporary thing. It won't be here forever. So, if you came to see it, great. Um, but if you didn't, well, next time something temporary comes along, come and see it for yourself. Because, you know, you might wish you hadn't. I think, I know, um, if I had seen... If I'd heard about it afterwards and realised it was like this inside and I hadn't been in here, I'd have been disappointed that I'd missed out. So I'm glad I'm here. I'm just going round and round now, down to the, we're almost back on the ground floor. Um, I think, so there's like a building inside. I think that's probably the building that's going to um, contain this art installation, but we'll find that out. Yes, it's like, um, you see, it's like a big black sort of structure within the, um, within the, giant connects kit of scaffolding see it does all feel quite temporary but then at the same time like I said it wasn't meant to be here forever but what happens now mind the step so we're down thank you light field exhibition so we're going into here so we go through this curtain wow look at that like uh, yeah have a look in there feels very sci-fi in here like I've well I've gone down I feel like I've sort of gone up into space look into that if I walk out you can see it's like a um, big 3D polygon polygonal shape and then that one over there, that's just been projected. Um, that's a 2D thing. But yeah, it gives the uh, illusion that, well, it's like a, somewhere that goes on forever. And what happens, there's more. There's more things in here. These are all cubes. See that? And if I look down, yeah, it goes on forever. Look, look down there. So it's all a bit strange in here. Um, not quite sure what to make of it. Yeah, it's impressive and everything, but I actually, I think I preferred the view from the top, but you know, someone's put a lot of thought into this. So I'm not really one for, I like some modern art, but um, it's got to be one of the better modern arts I've seen, but still I preferred the view from above. What's this? Got this strange looking um, thing here. So similar idea, but even um, 
more sort of unpredictable as to where the shapes go. So, yeah, a bit strange. What else have we got? There's another thing just here. You see my reflection in that one. So all of this is done by an artist called Anthony James. Um, yeah, so this is inside that big black structure we could see as we came down inside the mound. It's just about the most different thing you could possibly find. Yeah, you know, on the outside we're looking at London and everything, looking at the sights, the views, and now we're down in here. It's just uh, we'll go back into this one again. I like this one. That view towards it. So, I think it's um, time for me to, to go and uh, we'll go outside and have one more look at the mound from the outside. Well, there we go. I've just come out of the mound, came out from the light um, art exhibition through that dark looking bit over there. We'll just have another wander around the outside. This is again that flat side I said um, I really enjoyed it I think it's good fun it's um, it was only ever meant to be temporary so it's a bit of a shame it's not here for longer I appreciate it was never gonna be here to ever forever um, I would normally at this point in the video say you know do come visit yourself but unfortunately this is like it's closing in about two or three days time so by the time you watch this video it will be closed so um, you know like I say things like this come along and they're temporary visit them while you've got the chance because you know you don't know you, I kept hearing it's the worst tourist attraction ever and I was like do I bother and uh, in the end I thought no I, I ought to bother and see and make my own opinion and I think it's great there well, that's the more slopey side of the uh, of the mound that actually looks like a mound <laughs> it's quite funny looking at it there it's like half mound half um well it looks like it's been cut off at that point so from outside the marble arch bus stands outside the mound hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe and comment from the mound goodbye